Welcome back to Studio 5. So with shows popping up like, oh, you've got American Idol, X Factor, The Voice, kids yeah. watch these shows and kids dream of the day when they can take that big stage. But what does it really take to make it big? Well, we got an insider look at the music business and found out you don't have to travel to Hollywood to become a singing success. Oh. It's nothing new to Utah, the quest for success, or should we say the fight for fame. This state spits out its fair share of talent, and it's no wonder Utah kids are skyrocketing to the top younger than ever. St. George resident Dia Frampton did it on The Voice, turning the heads of millions of Americans and celebrity judges. Murray High's David Archuleta took it to the top with American Idol, not taking home the win, but certainly claiming his fame. And former Utah Julianne Huff made her mark on Dancing with the Stars, taking her talent to the big screen for the lead role in the remake of Footloose, all while releasing her very own country album. So is this reality star thing a reality in real life? We followed 14-year-old Sabrina Haskett to find out. I'm Sabrina Haskett and I love to sing and this is what I do. When Sabrina was only 18 months old, her parents knew they were in trouble when Sabrina could sing full primary songs in front of full crowds. I kept having thoughts of, we're gonna be doing choir and drama and uh, we're not doing sports with her. Like, it just was a reality check for us. But the long road hasn't always been easy. Gigs like this one, a chance to sing the national anthem at the Salt Lake Convention Center, have only recently started to pop up after years of hard work. To fit in every bit of experience, Sabrina tries out for lead roles in school plays and has private lessons with celebrity voice coach Dean Kalin and practices for hours every day. Everything we do, we feel like it's just, let's just go into it learning as a learn. Don't go in expecting that you're going to get this part. Sabrina's next move, stepping into a talent studio so she can become the real deal. We were a little nervous when she went to a talent agency because you always hear about, you know, these, yeah, you don't know if they're going to be in a spotlight or end up like Lindsay Lohan or something like that. And so it makes you nervous. After years of dreaming and years of practice, the moment has arrived. This room is full of girls anxiously awaiting their own chance at stardom. And for Sabrina, the moment is now. Auditioning for a $60,000 record label. You better take it from me. That boy is like a disease. You're running and trying and trying to hide and you're wondering why you can't get free. He's like a curse, he's like a drug. You get addicted. Oh, she's amazing. I'm joined by Amber Evans, founder of Stars Talent Studio, with some exciting news for Sabrina. She nailed it. She did. She did a fantastic job. What was the result of that audition? Well, she ended up booking a $60,000 record label, and she goes on tour starting June 15th. So she has the next two months to kind of get prepared, and she gets 500 a show at, like, you know, 13, 14 years old. It's pretty good. That is fantastic. <laughs> okay, I want Tours the bottom line. The country. Is that reality, though? Is this realistic for someone out there, some, you know, Utah child to want to make it big and want to crack into the singing business. Is it realistic? Yeah. yeah it's, it, I think it's very common. Is it realistic? Not for everybody. But I think it's a, kind of important to get, you know, kind of get an opinion from someone to let them know if it's realistic. I think that's kind of the first step. And you say just not one opinion, but get a second opinion of someone who can objectively say, yes, they can yes. cut it, or unfortunately, as, maybe no. As a parent, it's torture. We just love our children. They're perfect, so it's hard for us to be the ones. But yes, it's good to go to a professional and kind of find out, does your child really have what it takes because it's a lot of time and money and effort to kind of develop that type of talent. Well, and you as that professional, parents are bringing their children to your studio all the time. Do yeah. you know right away, can you tell within one audition or one meeting if that child, you know, work considered can make it? Within 30 seconds. You know within mm -hmm. 30 seconds. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're looking at their voice quality, we're looking at their performance skills. And the performance skills can be developed, but their voice, I mean, oftentimes we can broaden the, the vocal range uh -huh. with a coach, a really good coach, but the genetics are just 
kind of obvious for a lot of people. You talk about uh, it being important for children to identify their genre as well. They might come in wanting to be an Adele or wanting to be yeah. a Taylor Swift, and that might not be their area of specialty. I know a lot of kids want to do like pop as their genre, and I think it's really important for us to kind of do a full evaluation because some people fall more into you know musical theater or or um, rock or there's like you know, bluegrass, or there's mm -hmm, jazz, mm -hmm. or there's reggae, there's rock, I mean, there's so many different types of genres. It's important to have someone that's a professional kind of help evaluate that, because it's, you need to kind of find your niche mm -hmm. and your unique style, and then roll with it. Get your set list organized and move forward, because you need your you need your fans to kind of develop a consistent trust base, that they know what you're gonna sing. So I think of those Disney stars that we're seeing now emerge, <laughs> like the Ashley Tisdell and the Zac Efron. They start out singing, they branch into, or maybe they start out modeling, they branch into acting, they go to singing, there's kind of that transitional. Can yes. you be good at just one thing these days or do you have to kind of be the whole package? Well, you know, 20 years ago when I started um, being in the entertainment industry, I saw that you could just kind of find one category and, and roll with and it. And go for it, I'm a model, Nowadays, I'm a singer. no way, you really need to become more multifaceted. I think that's kind of the third step when you're really, really launching your singing career is to become an actor who sings and a singer who models and a model who acts and just become as multifaceted to kind of create the stronger odds. I mean, look at Disney Channel. Right. They do it all. That's the perfect example. So that's the goal is to be that's that multifaceted, talented performer that can kind of do everything. Some say that triple threat. That yes. triple threat. I like it. Okay. We want the triple threat. Finally, mm -hmm. you say children and, and parents should help their child start developing a brand. What does that mean at the age of 13, really, a brand? Well, and it's funny. With Sabrina, it's important to create like a website or an inexpensive way as a blog spot and to create like a Twitter account and all different kinds of forms of social media and build, you know, like your Facebook fan page. You want people to follow you and you want to be able to have a really strong, you know, headshot and singing resume so you can keep track of the vocal performances and really build credibility to your talent and your art. It starts young. I, I know it? it starts young, and look at look at. I mean, Justin Bieber got created or got yeah. discovered just off of his YouTube channel. So that's a really really popular way for young singers right now to kind of launch their careers. Okay. Get on YouTube. Get on YouTube. <laughs> you, you can heard get it discovered here. by a music producer or a talent agency. We'll Google and look right. for like Utah singers really? on YouTube. Really? Yeah. Really? Okay. If parents have questions. How can they get a hold of you? You're you're great about giving a warm but sincere opinion. Yes. Yeah. I'm real honest, but I try to do it really nice because sure. I, you know we've got sensitive. Absolutely, it's That's a vulnerable age. How do we find yes. you? So, Stars Talent Studio, you can just go and Google it. Um, also, it's 801-201-5885. Okay, <laughs> thanks so much, Amber. And congratulations, yes, Sabrina. That's so exciting to see start to finish. That's exciting.